Have you heard what Noam Dahl's been up to lately? I've been a bit busy winning matches all over the world, so no. I haven't had time to keep up with Noam Dahl or NXT UK at all. Well, you're in luck, because I have been watching, and I'm really good at concise, informative recaps. Noam Dahl is now both the NXT UK champion and holder of the Heritage Cup, which, reminder, is defended under British rules. Recently, he issued an open challenge for anyone to face him for both of his championships. Not bad on the recap, but could have gotten to the point quicker. That open challenge is intriguing. If you're interested, I can put some feelers out with NXT UK. I am interested in answering the open challenge, but don't bother reaching out to NXT UK. I have a different plan. WWE likely won't play ball with me after how things ended. So what if I showed up unannounced? Huh. <laughs> are we doing an invasion? Yes. Yes, we are. Okay. What happens if you win? I haven't thought that far ahead yet. I'll play it by ear. NXT UK and Heritage Cup champion Noam Dar has laid down his open challenge yet again and is waiting for anyone in the locker room to step up and answer it. So far, no one has been able to defeat the dual champion. Hold on. We have an unexpected trespasser here. Do your job, security. We're not focusing on what's going on to not give any publicity to someone who's unauthorized to be here. It looks like Noam Dar wants to let him stay. Then I guess we can say his name. The man formerly known as The Lock is trying to stage some kind of publicity stunt by showing up here at NXT UK. I may no longer be a WWE superstar, but that doesn't stop me from answering open challenges. So I'm ready to do this if you are. Noam Dar has informed me that he will accept the challenge as long as the match is contested under British rules. As far as we know, The Lock has never competed in a British rules match, while Dar specializes in this style as Heritage Cup champion. I'll do it. Let's go. Brilliant move by the champ. A guaranteed way to send this unwanted visitor home, beaten and embarrassed. We're going to have a former WWE superstar competing for two NXT UK championships. This is insane. Please, for the love of God, no Dar, just win this match. After a shocking turn of events, the former WWE superstar of the last lot has just turned NXT UK upside down. That's right, Michael. He showed up out of nowhere to challenge Noam Dar for both his NXT UK Championship and Heritage Cup. Pretty ambitious, if you ask me. He may no longer be the lock, but he certainly looks locked in to me. And he better be if he wants to come out of this British Rules match with some new hardware instead of a restraining order. Face first with a waistlock takedown. And Noam is countered. That'll either wake you up or knock you out. Oh, God. Ooh, harsh kick. Ah, oh, kick. Nasty kick. He's taking some good hits. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. Uh-oh. Driving a knee into the arm. Oh, my God. Fails to connect. Springboard. Oh my God, right over the top and hit hard. Noam Dar is just getting knocked around. Dar on the wrong side of every exchange lately. Back in the ring now. Ooh, vicious right forearm. Ooh, rolled by a huge club. Arm breaker. Right to the spine. Haymaker connects. First one missed, second one didn't. Effective. He's been placed in the corner now. Dangerous spot for him to be in. Knew what was coming there. Brief sign of adrenaline there for him. 
And now he's really falling behind. Yeah, but he's always one counter away from changing things. One response after another. Back and forth we go. some more punishment. And off, there's the reversal. Nice handspring evasion. Kick. Running Swanton finds the mark. He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. Ooh. Oh, an That one fails to land. Missed the mark. the former lock back in WWE now? This is pure, absolute chaos of the worst kind. I don't know what's going to happen either, but maybe the new champion can shed some light on his next move. If you haven't been keeping up with my career since I left WWE, I've been busy rediscovering what made me the next big thing and the lock in arenas all around the world. But one thing's been missing. I haven't had any hardware to show off. That changes now. Wrestling fans everywhere, this NXT UK Championship and that Heritage Cup are coming to an arena near you. Are you kidding me? Is he stealing the NXT UK Championship and Heritage Cup? It certainly looks that way. Again, where are the police or the Bobbies or whatever the hell you want to call them here? Now you can add assaulting security and a referee to the rap sheet. Somehow, a dark day in WWE just got even darker. I might as well cancel the rest of the show. Just shut it all down after that.
Yeah, he's odd at singing wrestling, but honestly, how long can this go on? Is there a plan here? Or is he just avoiding a real challenge of returning to the place he failed? All valid points. Have you talked to him about this? I tried, but he didn't want to hear it. Plus, there's possible legal action from WWE. It's gonna get ugly. I might have to do what I do best and gently guide him to make the right decision. I don't know if I've ever seen you do that. Come on, we're going to miss our flight to Mexico. And since when do you do interviews? What are you even saying, anyway? Time to go.
We've got a bit of a problem. The NXT UK Championship and Heritage Cup have gone missing. I swear I had them through customs when we got back. Do you think the airline somehow lost them? Or maybe they were stolen? Oh, this is bad. Okay, just calm down. How can I calm down when the two things that have helped make me the hottest thing in wrestling are missing? Uh, let's get this straight. You made yourself the hottest thing in wrestling. It's not about the hardware. And they're not missing. I made a deal with WWE. What do you mean you made a deal? You've had your fun, joyriding around the world, but now it's time to face your challenges head on. And that means returning to WWE. So, I handed over to the NXT UK title and Heritage Cup in exchange for you getting your job back. You stole the NXT UK title and Heritage Cup. Who does that? Hmm, I don't know. You? That was different. We're supposed to be friends. We are. I did this for you whether you realize it now or not. And if I hadn't, you're going to get sued for everything you own. So you're welcome. Out of all the times you've tavished me, this might be the worst. What can I say? I went with my gut. And maybe you don't like it. But I wasn't going to sit back and let you make the same mistakes I made in my career. So you're going back to WWE to become the megastar you were destined to be. Grab your bags. We're ready to roll. It's certainly been a wild ride lately. I didn't expect it to happen like this, but I think deep down I knew someday I'd have to go back to WWE if I truly wanted to prove myself. Tavish was right. It's time to take this challenge head-on and make up for how things ended. 
This time will be different now that the handcuffs are off and I can be myself. And there's only one goal in mind. Get to the top and become WWE Champion. Now that you can be yourself, are you going to show up in WWE with your current look, debut something new, or return to being The Lock? Current look. Like I said, I've had a lot of success on the international scene. I feel comfortable with what I'm doing, and I want to keep that going in WWE. You mentioned how your goal is to win the WWE Championship. That's interesting, because since you've been gone, your old faction mate Slade has broken through and become WWE Champion. Yeah, Slade, or as I knew him, Gabe. Look, I don't care who's champion. It could be an old friend, it could be an enemy, or someone I've never even met before. It doesn't matter. Whoever it is, I'm taking their title. You think everything will be okay with WWE management after you basically hijacked their titles? I don't know. I guess we're about to find out. Here we go. Just like riding a bike. Only there's a horde of angry men trying to violently knock you off. You got this. Been a while. Meet your new and improved replacement. <laughs> we'll be seeing you around. That was awkward. <laughs> At least you haven't run into Sean Michaels yet. If I had to guess, he's saving that for later tonight. No welcome back gift basket? No, not after what happened with you last time. I can't even look at our WWE 2K game cover now without having flashbacks. <sighs> I'm sorry. I was under a lot of pressure and trying to find my way with a new faction, but I've gained some perspective in my time away from WWE. So what do you say we start over? I can consider that. But an I'm sorry gift basket would help your cause. If that's all it takes, then deal. And maybe a skywriting apology message as well. <laughs> Don't push it. Who knows what we're about to hear from this man, but either way, it should be interesting. I just can't believe he's back. Did you ever think you'd see this again? I didn't. See, the last time I was in a WWE ring, I was fired. Everything I had worked for was gone in an instant. I was lost. Without that fight to be the future world champion, the lock, <laughs> we'll get to that in a second. I didn't know where to turn next. But then I realized that even though I was knocked down, I wasn't knocked out. There was an entire world of wrestling outside of WWE. New challenges, new stages, new fights. So I set out to conquer that wrestling world, and I did. Leaving WWE no choice but to bring back the man who had been cast aside as a mistake, never to be seen again. But the man you see here tonight is not the same man who was fired. That man was the lock. And I'm here to tell you, the lock is officially dead. From now on, you're gonna get the real thing. The man who went out and fulfilled his potential all around the world. Unfiltered, uncuffed, and unleashed. And now, nothing stands in my way from doing what I already did across the globe. Conquering this last territory by winning the WWE Championship. 
But now that I'm back, what's really... Here we go. These two have some serious history. Weird Shawn Michaels had a major announcement regarding this man's future. And this could be it. Beautiful speech. Almost even had me believing you for a second. Not to rain on your comeback parade. Let me hit you with at least a drizzle of truth. You might have managed to win a few matches while you were gone and pulled off some cheap publicity stunts like invading NXT UK and taking their titles for a joyride. But let's get one thing straight. You don't belong here. We tried everything in our power to help you succeed, and it flat out didn't work. So despite everything you just said, I'm not inclined to try again. Well, I'm back. So you don't have a choice, do you? Yeah, about that. You might have maneuvered your way back to WWE, but that doesn't mean I can't make your life a living hell now that you're here. So what? You're gonna force me to be the lock again? Nope. But there has been a slight revision to your new contract. A little detail you might want to consider. And that is, if you don't become WWE Champion within 58 days from today, which just so happens to coincide with SummerSlam, you will be gone from WWE permanently. Forever. Or as you said, knocked out. So yeah, good luck with this whole comeback thing. Wow, that's shocking news. You might not want to walk away when I'm talking to you. Didn't work out so well for you last time, did it? Do I need to repeat myself? 58 days. Why wait? Give me a championship match against my old buddy Slade, and we'll get this over with tonight. No chance. 58 days. It's WWE Champion Slade. Slade looks determined as he heads toward the ring. Yeah, determined to prove that a hell of a lot has changed since the former Locke left WWE. Slade may have taken a back seat in the past, but now he's the man on Raw. That's all fine, but his boss Shawn Michaels just said there wouldn't be a title match tonight, so I'm not sure what Slade is doing out here. If you haven't noticed, things have changed around here since you've been gone. In fact, if anyone's the lock now, it's me. Since unlike you, I actually became WWE Champion. Convenient how that happened when I was gone. Are you saying I'm only champion because you weren't here? <laughs> okay. Let's get this straight. I'm not threatened by you. So if you want to take your shot at my title and try to save your job here in WWE, then I actually agree with you for once. Let's do this right now. Wow, this is I'm actually going to gonna happen? Michaels doesn't look too thrilled. Okay, fine. You got what you wanted. The match is on. We're going to have an impromptu WWE Championship match between two former faction mates right here, right now. I, I don't get this. The championship deadline was set at 58 days. You don't give the man a title match on night one. I agree, Corey. There has to be more to this plan. Nonetheless, here we go. Glasses check to make sure this is actually happening, but Slade and his former Evolution teammate are squaring off right now for the WWE title. It's happening, Michael. The artist, formerly known as Luck, going airport. Oh, misses the mark. Slade with an opportunity here. Textbook fireman's carry takeover. And that was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. Going right after the next.
Uh-oh. He knew that was coming. Bang! What a knee! Bang! The roundhouse kick. What a swan time. The champ trying to roll with these hits. Deep arm drag takedown. Wow, running senton. Man, that's going to hurt. He's dictating the pace of this match now, guys. He's Walking the ropes. Thunderous elbow. And shoulders are down. No, he kicks out. These men knew this match was going to be hard fought. And well-timed maneuver there. Ridiculous standing shooting star. It takes a su We got a new champion here. One, two, what the heck? Shawn Michaels just pulled the referee out of the ring. What kind of behavior is that by our VP of talent development? Shawn wasn't going to let the title change hands like this. Not with the championship deadline in play. Orton and Braun Breaker from behind. Evolution's taking advantage of the interference from Shawn Michaels. Was this all part of Evolution and Michaels' plan in accepting the match? And Breaker nails the military press power slam. Now Slade's going to try to steal this. And of course, Shawn Michaels is now helping the referee back in the ring. Slade got him. The champion retains. The challenger never really had a chance against the combination of Evolution and Shawn Michaels. I don't see how he's going to win the championship in the next 58 days with the deck this stacked against time. him like this. My ring, my show. You don't belong here. I do. <laughs> this is just getting worse now. Is this really necessary? <laughs> It's former WCW superstar Tavish. He's been a mentor to The Rock and played a key role in his resurgence. And now he's playing a key role in his beatdown. This is too much for an aging veteran to overcome. And Braun locks in the recliner. Breaker's gonna force him to watch as his mentor is taken out by Evolution. What are they doing now? Slade Runner onto the steel chair. This is not how he expected his big return to go here tonight. Welcome back to WWE, Locke. You've got a long, daunting road ahead of you. I agree, but I don't know about the long part. He's got less than 60 days to take Slade's championship, or he's gone from WWE forever. This is not looking good. Certainly long odds to overcome. Rough first night back. How you doing? I've been better. I wasn't planning on fighting the WWE Champion and his entire faction. Thought maybe we'd ease into things and build up to that. Yeah, same. Well, thanks for trying to help. I had no idea Sean was going to pull that stunt with your contract. What'd he say? 58 days to win the title or you're gone? Yep. SummerSlam or bust. Well, I doubt you're going to get another opportunity tonight, so really, it's 57 days. How many actual events is that? 57 days is like eight weeks, with one Raw a week, plus a premium live event, so you might have, what, like nine chances left? Then again, it's not like you're going to get a title match every show. They actually might do everything in their power to never give you another title match at all. Is any of that supposed to make me feel better? I know it's going to be tough, but I've already overcome so much just to get back here. I'll figure out a way to beat this, too. I believe in you. I really do. Oh, this feels different. You think I can't do it? No, I think you're outnumbered. You can't just brute force this on your own like you always do. You're gonna need help to pull it off. I got you, don't I? As you saw tonight, it's pretty much the same as being on your own. You need to lean on someone other than me. You did it in Mexico, now's the time to take it to the next level. They have numbers. So even up to sides. So you want me to join a faction? That didn't work out too well the last time. I wasn't saying you should join a faction. I was saying you should start your own and lead one. You're ready. I guess I don't really have another option, do I? Not unless you want to keep getting beaten up three on one for the next 57 nights and then be gone from here for good. Well, then I better start looking. Clock's ticking. <laughs> 